You might remember over a year ago, we introduced you to a mega project so outlandish that it broke the internet. Saudi Arabia had announced plans to build a gigantic cube-shaped golden skyscraper, a structure so massive that it would become the world's largest building upon completion. This architectural marvel is set to rise as the iconic centerpiece of a new district in Riyadh. The colossal structure resembles a hollow cube and will be about a third of Manhattan's size. To put that into perspective, it could comfortably fit 20 Empire State Buildings inside. Imagine that. While many thought it was just a bold vision, construction on this incredible project has now officially begun. Today, we are here to give you an inside look of this groundbreaking endeavor. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. By now, we all know that Saudi Arabia has started a journey to diversify its economy away from oil, generate jobs, and improve its international reputation as a major center for trade and tourism with investments reaching billions of dollars. As part of this initiative, the Saudi government has announced over 15 colossal construction projects in the recent past, with the best known and most controversial being NEOM. The latest of these projects to break ground is the ambitious $50 billion project called the Mukab, an extraordinary cubicle structure that will stand at an impressive height of 400 meters. Referred to as the new face of Riyadh, this golden cube skyscraper will be the largest structure in the world once built. It will take the title of the world's current largest building from the Boeing Everett factory in the USA. The Mukab is part of Saudi Arabia's newest downtown district under construction called New Muraba, which is officially set to become the world's largest modern downtown. This $800 billion project aims to double the size and population of the capital and transform downtown Riyadh. The cube-shaped building will be enclosed in a golden facade made of overlapping triangular forms, influenced by the modern Najdi architectural style of Saudi Arabia. Some citizens have noted that the building resembles the Kaaba, which is a building at the center of Islam's most important mosque in Mecca. They have accused the crown prince of building a Kaaba for himself, or one that is exclusively devoted to capitalism. Yet it is to be noted that this form of cube structure is pretty common in Riyadh. As of today, construction has officially begun on the 400-meter high, cube-shaped super-tall skyscraper in Riyadh, which will be the world's largest building when completed. According to the project's developer, the new Muraba Development Company, in December 2023, Atkins Realis, a Canadian-based global engineering services company, was awarded the contract for its construction, and groundworks at the construction site are now 86% complete. The latest aerial images released show a large construction site in a desert environment, the area appears vast, with multiple sections of land being cleared and leveled, surrounded by a network of dirt roads. There are numerous vehicles, equipment, and construction machinery scattered throughout the site, indicating active development. The site is enclosed by roads on multiple sides, and the large, square-shaped foundation of the skyscraper is visibly being built in the center. If you thought this golden cube skyscraper looks extraordinary from the outside, Wait until you see what's going to be inside. This massive structure will be an immersive, experiential destination, where hospitality, retail, and leisure reach new levels, all in breathtaking, ever-changing environments. It is promoted as a gateway to another world. The macabre landmark is described as the world's first immersive destination and will offer people an experience that is created by digital and virtual technology using the latest holographics. The designers define immersive as a completely digital and virtual world enhanced by a sea of holograms that promises to let you live on Mars and other places. According to a promotional video, visitors can also experience the deep sea and what appear to be the floating mountains from Avatar. In other words, it sounds like they want to turn this into a huge, nearly virtual planetarium. To top it all, the cube will encompass an enormous tower on top of a spiral base. Framed around this spiral tower is a central atrium that encloses 2 million square meters of floor space. Everything from tourist attractions and hotels 
to residential units and commercial places will be included inside. The project promises a human-first approach, ensuring that green spaces are accessible within a 15-minute walk from any point within the structure. The cube will also be home to an iconic museum, a technology and design university, a multi-purpose immersive theater, and more than 80 entertainment and culture venues. The Maqab building is part of a wider megaproject in Saudi Arabia. The new Maraba project is a new district that is being constructed in downtown Riyadh. The wider Maraba district is being billed as the world's largest modern downtown. The entire scheme will offer more than 25 million square meters of floor area, featuring more than 104,000 residential units, which will accommodate hundreds of thousands of residents, 9,000 hotel rooms, and more than 980,000 square meters of retail space. There will also be 1.4 million square meters of office space, 620,000 square meters of leisure assets, and 1.8 million square meters of space dedicated to community facilities. The new Maraba project will be built with sustainability in mind and will feature green areas and walking and cycling paths in order to promote healthy, active lifestyles for those who visit. It is due to be built at the intersection of King Salman and King Khalid roads to the northwest of Riyadh. Developers say the area would boast a unique living, working, and entertainment experience within a 15-minute walking radius. It will have its own internal transport system and will also be just a 20-minute drive from Riyadh Airport. Once complete, the Maraba district is expected to generate $50 billion in revenue and 334,000 direct and indirect jobs. Even though New Maraba is supposed to be built with sustainability in mind, yet none of the project's absurdly enormous designs truly displays eco-friendliness. The construction is expected to be complete by 2030, which is less than a year after the country announced a 100-mile skyscraper that will house 9 million people in the future. The project will be delivered by Saudi Arabia's new Maraba Development Company as part of the country's Public Investment Fund, a sovereign wealth fund established in 2017 by the Crown Prince. It seeks to diversify income sources for the Saudi economy. The Saudi Vision 2030, which was first introduced by the Prince in 2016, is a strategy to reduce Saudi Arabia's dependence on oil, transform its economy, and also expand public service sectors such as health, education, infrastructure, recreation, and tourism. As the name suggests, the aim is that all elements of the strategy will be complete by 2030. The Maqab is still in the very early stages of development, so we don't know how construction will progress in the upcoming months to years. It is highly unlikely that a project of this scale would finish by 2030. Recently, it was also announced that Neom's much-anticipated The Line Megacity has been seriously scaled down. The line, which was envisioned to stretch 105 miles, is expected to reach just a mile and a half, a 98% reduction in its planned length. The scaling back of the line came as the Sovereign Wealth Fund's cash reserves dropped to $15 billion as of September 2023, the lowest level since 2020 the earliest year for which data is available. In 2022, Crown Prince Mohammed said the first phase of Neom was expected to cost $320 billion by 2030, and half of that is expected to come from the Sovereign Fund. The kingdom's vast expenditure has started to concern Saudi officials as well, suggesting Saudi Arabia's immense wealth isn't quite so endless after all. It shows that the financial realities of the trillions of dollars of investment are starting to cause concern at the highest levels of the Saudi government as it tries to fulfill its ambitious Vision 2030 program, the overarching initiative tasked with diversifying the kingdom's economy. Already, officials have said that some of the projects outlined in that program will be delayed past 2030. Some reports claim that the Line Mega City may not be completed until 2050, which will likely increase costs significantly. It is predicted that the entire project, including the line, will cost the kingdom $1 trillion. The chaotic trajectory of Saudi Arabia's megaprojects suggests that these urban dreams will never become a reality, 
but only time can show us the real possibilities. Despite this, it is surely interesting to see how the Kingdom has been adding new projects to their pipeline. We look forward to bringing you more updates in the near future. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.